the Israeli army destroyed a large Hamas tunnel which had infiltrated into Israeli territory from Khan Yunus in the Gaza Strip, IDF spokesman Brig General Ronan Mainless announced on Sunday the tunnel, which stretched a few hundred meters into southern Israel, was identified several weeks ago using unique tools combined with advanced technology, intelligence, and operational capabilities, Mainless said. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, VAR, J, S, F, J, S equal D get elements patag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard. ID, return, JS equal D creatilment, S, JS dot ID equal ID, JS SRC equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash N underscore us slash all JS number XFBML equal one and app ID equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven, FJS parent node insert before, JS, FJS, document, script, Facebook JS SDK, the neutralization, which was done by the IDF Southern Command, is a necessary defensive action to prevent harm to civilians and soldiers, he said, adding that it was a quiet neutralization. No one heard it but the tunnel has been destroyed. Locating two terror tunnels in recent weeks is an operational success based on advanced technology, attesting to a rise in the level of the tools developed and used by the IDF. In late October the IDF destroyed a cross-border Palestinian Islamic Jihad PIJ, attack tunnel, killing 12 terrorists including two senior Islamic Jihad commanders and two Hamas members. The group threatened to retaliate against Israel for the deaths of its members, leading the IDF to deploy Iron Dome missile defense batteries in central Israel. Two weeks ago the group fired 12 projectiles aimed at the IDF post and a cement factory on the northeastern edge of the Gaza Strip where construction crews are working on Israel's new underground barrier with the Strip according to Mainless, while the tunnel destroyed on Sunday was discovered several weeks ago, there was no connections between the PIJ barrage and the tunnel the tunnel destroyed on Sunday was found deeper in Israeli territory than the tunnel belonging to PIJ, which was found on the border and was in advanced stages of construction, Mainless said, stressing that Hamas had put significant effort into it. The IDF has been investing extensive effort in locating cross-border tunnels from Gaza after several soldiers were killed by Hamas militants during Operation Protective Edge in 2014, when they emerged from numerous tunnels dug into Israel by the terror group. Hamas tunnel infrastructure surprised the IDF and left the residents of border communities concerned of possible tunnels beneath their homes. According to Mainless, civilian communities were not threatened at any moment by the tunnel which was at least one kilometer from the nearest community which is a flagrant violation of Israel's sovereignty and cannot be accepted. In response to the tunnel threat, Israel has begun building a state-of-the-art underground barrier which has a system of advanced sensor and monitoring devices to detect tunnels combined with a 6M high above ground smart fence while the IDF is confident that no tunnel will be able to cross the underground barrier there remains a large amount of construction on the barrier which has yet to be completed including in the area where the tunnel was located the destruction of the tunnel did not lead to any deaths mainless said adding that even if there were he was not sorry and that Israel will continue to take all measures at its disposal to destroy any cross-border tunnels I advise. Any group who wants to threaten Israel to think twice, he said. These tunnels will be a death trap to anyone inside. Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Tags, Hamas IDF Gaza Tunnels Tunnel